consider a mango falling from a tree. We know that it falls under the influence of gravity. A mango consists of many particles. Each particle is acted upon by gravity. During its fall, the weight of all the particles seem to be concentrated at one point. This point is referred to as centre of gravity. Centre of gravity is defined as a point in or near a body where the total weight of the body may be thought to be concentrated. In other words, centre of gravity is the average location of the weight of an object. It is independent of the position of the object. Determining the centre of gravity of an object is a complex process as the mass of the object may not be evenly distributed. For geometrical objects, the geometric centre is the centre of gravity. Suppose you want to find the centre of gravity of a scale. Try balancing the scale with one finger. You will find that you are able to balance when you hold it exactly at the centre of the scale. Scale is a rectangle. So the center of gravity is at the center, which is the point of intersection of its diagonals. Remember that the center of gravity need not necessarily be within the object. For example, consider a circular ring. The center of a circular ring is at the center of the circle, which is not within the body of the object. Let us know the center of gravity of a few regular objects. For a solid sphere, it is at the center of the sphere. For a triangle, it is at the centroid, which is the intersection of medians of a triangle. For a right cylinder, it is at the midpoint of its height. For a right solid circular cone, it is at a distance h by 4 from the base, where h is the height of the cone. But for a hollow circular right cone, it is at a distance h by 3 from the base where h is the height of the cone.